I'm so blessed to have all of you in my life, and I'm really delighted the to crack, that I've talked to so many people who are like, oh, you should be my friend Betty, or oh my god, my brother Doug, or Pam, or Angelina, or the Mouse Hub Girls, or my running team, and crazy people I take trips with. And I'm thrilled you all could come and share my 49th birthday with me since it doesn't happen until Monday, so I'm saying eight a.m. So thank you for coming. Eat up and we'll hear about what's on, on time for dessert. Cheers to you, Grace. You and a nice dinner. We'll let them afterwards because I don't want to set off the fire alarm. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's a cake, and today, of course, there is one for Nancy. And then there are desserts in shot glasses. Here we have the pina colada in these glasses. And over here, that's the bistretto panna cotta. This is some, uh, for people who need to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we have here the one with the rose petal. That's a grain catalan. It's the Spanish version of the grain brew. A little softer than the grape brulee, and on the bottom is a little surprise. <laughs> um, then my, my fresh fruit tart, I make the shells, and I make it all made from scratch. The shells are uh, Pierre Hermé formula from Paris. And over there is this little guy here that's a almond cupcake dipped in mandarin powdered sugar lotion and on top is a little apricot that I make um, in a special mold so it stays in, in shape. <laughs> Unlike us after eating all of it. <laughs> <laughs> then over here, that's one of my specialties you have, I'm sure, never eaten. That's a little apple tart. And it is composed of five different components. Oh. So dig in. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I have, um, I mainly a, consider myself mainly a chocolate maker. So I work with all Grand Cru chocolates. Yeah, I know. Isn't it awful? From, <laughs> yeah, from Switzerland. And what you have here in this collection is my Matterhorn. That's my own invention here. This is the milk chocolate version, and here is the dark chocolate version. It's a Chantuya praline. Um, chocolate. Then here, that's one of my new, kind of my new inventions. It is a mold from Italy, and what it is actually, it's a cocoa bean, a cocoa bean that stands. And the reason why it's colored is cocoa butter. It's colored cocoa butter, and the mold is airbrushed wow. with the cacao butter first. And then it's um, enrobed, which means it's you, you put the, the liquid chocolate in, you let that dry, and then the next step is to fill it, and then the next step to make sure it comes out of the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and then it does, then it looks like this. <laughs> so all the molded, that's, that's the molded chocolate, uh, the Matterhorn. Then um, not a molded chocolate, for example, is this one. So here you make a slab. You make a square slab, basically the inside of the chocolate, you make that first. And then you let that um, dry, become firm, so you can cut it. And after it's cut, you dip it in the liquid chocolate. And that's then how that looks. So this one here, this is a hazelnut, um, um, caramelized hazelnut, with Italian hazelnuts. And another version of the Enrobed, cut chocolate is this one. That's a pistachio almond, mar marzipan, basically. Marzipan, I make my own marzipan. And um, the chocolate, the, the chocolate I use for dipping here is a 68% wild cacao from Bolivia. It's a global effect. So this is... Um, the wild cacao that I use from Bolivia, it's actually, there are not that many uh, chocolate makers who use that, and I have the opportunity to use it because the, the, the people I get my chocolate from in Switzerland, they have access to this wild cacao. How long does it take you to make? 
<laughs> Maybe I can talk about that um, Petua party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they could, yeah. they could have been interested. Um, then here, the lollipop. It's it's just plain white chocolate, and that's again, I love to airbrush. It's artistic, and I like that. So you airbrush the mold um, the way you like, and then you hope it comes out of the mold. <laughs> um, what else? Um, then here, the letters and numbers. So this is a is a mold where you can you can also that's airbrush with gold. It's actually a small gold leaf, and um, this one is also the wild cocoa. So this is inside also filled with the wild cocoa. So take that in your mouth, close your eyes, and and really taste. This is, in my opinion, as, I mean, all my chocolates are Grand Cru, which means it's top of the line, but this is, has just this spice, it has this mm. spiciness mm. that I think is just incredible. Do you want to tell us how to eat each one of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. Yeah. 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 So this one here, the standing cocoa bean, that's a... Uh, a very very high cocoa content. It's 74. So for the lovers of very dark chocolate, um, what else do we have? Um, there are on the other side. So here, that's of course. Yeah, I'm from Switzerland, and in Switzerland we have a very old, very traditional pastry chocolate tradition. And these are the Florentines, and in Switzerland, every person knows what the Florentine is, but probably not like this. So mine, and usually they're very thin, and then there's a little, little bit of chocolate on, and mine are thick, <laughs> because I think it's more fun. So they are, they're very special, it's my own formula. And then here, that's also uh, the other Swiss corner here. That's from a Basel, a Basler cookie. It's called the Basel Leckerli. Mm -hmm. And you can ask any person from Basel. Yeah. And you say Leckerli and they... <laughs> they are, it's a very, very traditional cookie. It's gingerbread spice based, mm -hmm. this one. And then I just like to play around with the chocolates, um, just try new things. So here I did took some white chocolate and mixed some... Um, some um, a raspberry and some, um, um, no, I'm really tired. Don't worry. <laughs> the green one. Um, pistachio. Thank you. Pistachio. Some pistachio <laughs> and raspberry um, in it. Then the milk chocolate version here, that's a 42% milk with some hazelnut. And the dark one, that's actually, actually, the dark one here. This is 65% cocoa and it won the prize for best chocolate in the world in a, in a blind tasting by 50 Italian chocolate makers. <laughs> <laughs> That's from uh, Maracaibo. Yeah. This one. Yeah. I think, yeah, and then here, this one is my signature chocolate because the name of my business is Sweet 55. Yeah. And here you have the Sweet 55 logo. This is a caramel that I make myself, and because I don't really like it when it's too sweet, the caramel, I add a tiny little bit of orange juice, and then on top of that, a little bit of something else, and you can try to find out what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just to make it more, less sweet. And then this here in the court, in, on this side, this is the champagne, Marc de Champagne truffle. It has two different fillings in it. Mm. I like, when if, if somebody asks me what's my favorite, then maybe this one. <laughs> and then my little darling butterfly, where I just go crazy with the airbrushing. <laughs> so that's all for people like white chocolate. Yeah, yeah. and then the fruit jelly there in the corner, the raspberry and pear fruit jelly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think now I said it all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we well, light the candles. And then the cake. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. before yeah. we light the candles, everybody, I'm going to light the candles. We can wish Nancy a happy birthday. And at some point, let's make our way 
back outside because we have a little sump guessing game for Nancy. Oh. 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 After that, there's dessert. There's actually more um, meat and cheese. So have whatever you like. Okay. So no one leaves until the food's gone. Let's be really clear. <laughs> yeah, I want a clean dessert table. That's going to be I'm trying. Shall we start with happy birthday to you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nancy. Shortcake, but not really. It's a French, traditional French. 